Okay, so we are in a very, very remote location of Beaver County, where in the state game lands here in South Beaver Township. And in front of me is the famous Indian Rock. Now, some people believe that if you look at the rock here and you look at the holes in the stones, it was carved by Indians. That's the general consensus. Nobody is certain how this rock got here, although I have my guess probably a glacier brought it up here from the Ice Age. Or if it indeed was by Indians, <laughs> it took an awful lot of Indians to carry it. Uh, I am of the opinion that these holes were not made by Indians. Indians did not build in stone in this region because they just lacked the tools to do so. The Indians that resided in Beaver County simply didn't have the proper tools to make the kind of holes that are seen in this rock. However, that's not to be said that it could have been done by a different culture of Indians. Beaver County was inhabited by, by many different cultures, migrations, if you will, people passing through. But there's really no evidence or Indian religious meaning, Native American religious symbolism that I can see in this stone. Some people say a person came up here and drilled these holes for a bird feeder and a water feeder and for other animals. I'm not certain that's the case, but whoever made these holes done so in a rather unique way. But I just want to show you the landscape. You would not believe what it took to get up here. For those of you who have been up here, you know how isolated it is and how steep of a hill this was to climb. I almost died. It's really isolated up here, but it sure is beautiful. Just giving you a 360. So what do you think? Was it carved by Indians or was it carved by a person? Well, Indians are people too, but was it carved by someone just trying to make a practical joke? How old is this rock? What do you think? What are the stories that you've heard about Indian rock? Share some of your stories. Who told you about it? How did you find it? Have you been up here? Let me know what you think in the comments. People in Beaver County would love to know. This is going to go, this video is going to go on a brand new website that I am creating that I will make an announcement about in a later time because it's not finished yet. And what it is, you will know. But I would just add this to my documentaries about Beaver County because this is a a unique artifact. I would love to know more about it. I would love to know what you know about it, or what you think you know about it. All opinions are welcome. It's really unique. I'd say it's about five foot long. Maybe three foot wide in the middle here. There's some water in this hole. But. Still the leaves and such. And it would appear that somebody carved the back of this. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I don't think that's a natural formation. But it's a really unique piece. It certainly belongs in the mystique of Beaver County, wouldn't you say? Beautiful landscape up here. But I caution you, you have been warned. If you want to get up here and visit this, I took the route off of Candleton Road and walked through the state game lands. You are in for one hell of a climb up a hill. I mean, like, you almost need a rope. This is what I call a happy hunting ground in Beaver County. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I want to know what you think about it, as I said. Share your stories about this 
unique rock. Was it made by Indians or was it made by somebody else? Let me know in the comments. Until again, I'm out.